Hi, my name is Dr. Gary Say, and I'm a practicing interventional radiologist at UCLA. And today, I have the fortunate opportunity to discuss thyroid artery embolization with you, which is a new treatment for enlarged thyroid or large thyroid nodules. Overall, thyroid nodules are very common in the U.S. Up to 50% of patients over the age of 45 have nodules that can be seen on ultrasound. Fortunately, approximately 95% of thyroid nodules are benign, and most do not cause any problems at all or need any treatment. In certain cases, the entire thyroid is diffusely enlarged or enlarged because of multiple nodules. This is also known as goiter or multinodular goiter. This may be in part due to genetics as well as iodine intake of the population, for example. When the goiter grows large enough, it may cause compressive symptoms and or release excess thyroid hormone. In this picture at the bottom right, you can see at the arrows is a classic appearance of a goiter as a neck mass at the lower aspect of the neck. What type of compressive symptoms may one have? Well, it may initially appear as a bump in the neck that can be either seen or felt. It may cause symptoms due to compression of the airway or esophagus, of which include difficulty or noisy breathing, shortness of breath during exercise or while lying down, feeling of neck pressure or tightness, difficulty swallowing or food getting stuck. In some cases, the enlarged nodular thyroid may make excess thyroid hormone, also called hyperthyroidism. There are many different symptoms, and these have listed a few. Fatigue, anxiety, weakness, tremor, an irregular heartbeat, weight loss, hair thinning, among many others. The traditional methods for managing these thyroid diseases that may be causing compression or excess thyroid hormone may include medications or surgery or a combination of both. However, newer minimally invasive treatments for nodules or goiter include thyroid ablation and thyroid artery embolization. Our expert UCLA interventional endocrine team can help determine if these new minimally invasive options are best for you. So what exactly is thyroid artery embolization, or called TAE? Embolization is a procedure where small particles or other material is injected to block the blood supply to a tumor or to some abnormal tissue growth. It is commonly used in other organs in the treatment of cancer or benign tumors or abnormal growth, such as in the uterus, prostate, or liver, just to name a few. With thyroid artery embolization, we inject these tiny particles into those arteries that feed the thyroid to help to decrease the blood supply and cause the nodule or the entire thyroid to shrink. We perform TAE in our angiography suite with fluoroscopy, which is live x-ray, which allows us to visualize the blood vessels. Our anesthesia team helps to provide the sedation. It's a same day procedure, which takes about two to three hours. There are no big incisions, no physical thyroid tissue is removed. Patients are home the same day and back to normal activities the following day. Overall, the recovery is relatively fast. So let's look at a patient example. This is a 70-year-old female that was referred to us with a slowly growing multinodular goiter over many years. She has had multiple negative prior biopsies. She certainly has concerns for cosmetic appearance, but does have significant compressive symptoms of difficulty breathing and swallowing. Up till now, all of her vital signs and blood work has been normal, and she really wants to avoid surgery and avoid lifelong thyroid hormone replacement. So she's seen us for consideration of TAE. This is a clinical photo of our patient where there's clearly a neck mass at the bottom of her neck, and this is the side profile view of the same. In this CT scan, you can see that at the, mark, at the yellow arrows, there are two large nodules that are compressing the airway, which is the dark structure in the middle, and pushing all the vessels to the side. We always obtain a planning CT angiogram so that we know all of the affected anatomy of the enlarged thyroid. We bring our patients into the angiography suite, and after they're asleep, we make a tiny incision in either the groin or the wrist, and we feed little catheters up to where the thyroid are. The 
little catheters are smaller than a string of spaghetti, but allow us to take adequate pictures to find out all the arteries that feed the large thyroid or the enlarged multinodular goiter, for example. And this is an aortogram showing how we map out all of the vessels. After we've carefully selected the artery that may be feeding the nodule or the enlarged goiter, we take some pictures to demonstrate the blood flow to the nodule or the enlarged thyroid. This is called an angiogram in which contrast essentially demonstrates the blood flow to this enlarged nodule. After we've identified the appropriate vessels, we then start to put those tiny little particles that slow down and block the blood flow. And in this case, you can see that after we've placed those little particles, all of that black contrast, which is the blood flow to that enlarged thyroid nodule, has been significantly decreased or pruned. And as you can see in this slide, uh, two weeks before and after, you can see that before, that while there was a neck mass at the base, it has significantly decreased in size. Moreover, at the side profile view, you can similarly see that the neck mass has decreased in size. More importantly, her symptoms of difficulty swallowing and breathing resolved. She has an improved cosmetic appearance and there's been no change in her thyroid function or need for thyroid hormone replacement. Overall, our patient had a decrease in size of approximately 50% of the entire thyroid at our four month follow-up. While thyroid artery embolization has been practiced in very few select cases for over 20 to 30 years, renewed interest has grown because it now has shown promise in patients with multinodular goiter or very large nodules. And this paper, approximately two years ago, published by Yilmaz's group out of Turkey, has demonstrated such. Over five years, they took 56 consecutive patients that had nodular goiter and were treated with thyroid artery embolization. All the patients had negative biopsies. And up to 84% of these patients, the goiters were so large, they grew into the upper chest. All of the patients in this study were offered surgery and either refused or were deemed not suitable as surgical candidates. These are some case examples from their paper. As you can see in the top image in this patient with a very large single nodule, after embolization, there was significant decrease in size. And in this patient with just an enlarged goiter or diffusely enlarged thyroid nodule here, you can see that there's been a significant decrease in size after embolization. What were their results? Well, they had a mean volume reduction of almost 70% in patients treated with TAE and a large dominant nodule. Overall, the mean thyroid volume was decreased by over 50% after TAE. And interestingly enough, in the 22 patients that had baseline hyperthyroidism or overfunctioning thyroid, over 80% afterwards had normal thyroid function. There were some procedural side effects, but were very self-limited voice hoarseness and mild pain. More importantly, no patients developed permanent neurologic complications or new loss of thyroid or parathyroid function. In conclusion, thyroid artery embolization is a minimally invasive non-surgical option for those with large thyroid nodules or multinodular goiter causing compressive symptoms. It's an option for patients that do not want long-term thyroid hormone replacement therapy that may occur with surgery. It's a great option for tough surgical anatomy or thyroid growth into the upper chest. And in select cases, it may help patients with goiter and hyperthyroidism. Thank you again for the opportunity to talk with you. Please contact our UCLA Interventional Radiology Department for consultation with the number and website listed below.